There's really two reasons why people follow you. Number one is because they want to be like you. Yet the other side is actually someone that's just like them. Welcome to the stage, Nicholas Barely. How do I serve the tribe? What can I do? What's the next thing I can do? Most unselfish thing a person can do is expand. No other option besides hard work. How they can live this three-dimensional lifestyle. YouTube, what's going on? Nicholas Barely here. In this video, I'm gonna share with you exactly how you can master social media, not just gain influence, but actually monetize it as a business, even if you're just starting or you don't even know what to post yet. This is a part of our show, The Billion Dollar Brotherhood. You can actually go check out the podcast on iTunes to check out all of our other interviews as well as here on YouTube. And if you have not hit that subscribe button yet, you're gonna wanna do that and ring that bell to get trainings just like this, Q&A sessions. And one of the best ways to go check out the Q&As is to actually head over to facebook.com and actually join our Facebook group, 5,500 other businessmen like you and I, where you can ask questions and they can be featured on the show, as well as phenomenal interviews with multimillionaires, Navy SEALs, professional athletes, the best of the best, or people that have accomplished the most in life. It's absolutely insane. But like I said, in this video, we're gonna talk specifically about social media. I'm gonna actually share my screen with you and share some of my social media accounts from Instagram to Facebook and the different things of how you go about social media to become a master, to be smarter than if you're older and you wanna be smarter than every single kid out there, you're gonna be smarter. Or if you're younger and you wanna impress everyone in the world and just start making a way bigger difference with everything that you post, this is absolutely the episode for you. There's a few things that you're gonna to wanna to do beforehand. One of the big things, figuring out like starting with the end in mind. When you think about social media, you wanna think about what's, where, what am I actually trying to do? Am I trying to build a following? Am I trying to build a company? Where am I trying to go with this journey of social media so we're not just posting aimlessly? This would kind of be like if you were to go on a road trip, you probably wanna know where you're going before you leave so you can plug it into the GPS and figure out the best route to get there. Even if you kinda of know where you're going but you're not running any GPS, you may get stuck in a cul-de-sac and it probably won't be that great of a journey. So we wanna figure out what's that end goal? Where's that place that we're going? So that's number one. Number two that my wife actually came up with was where is your tribe? If let's say you wanna build a business, you wanna reach a certain type of person, we wanna figure out after figuring out that type of person that we wanna reach, where are they at? There's lots of social media channels more and more growing by the day. Clubhouse and TikTok and all these different other off-spin brands and Facebook and Instagram, the big hubs, Snapchat. We don't wanna just be on every platform for no reason. Though they are free and you can be on every platform, we wanna focus on the ones that are most effective for you and then syndicate out from there. And I'll tell you what I mean by syndication here in just a moment. So let's actually take a look at some of my social media accounts. I'm actually gonna share my screen with you right here. And you can see that this is my Instagram account, Nicholas Barely. If you're not following me there, you're gonna to wanna to go do that. And inside of this, you can see I use the same picture for the most part on every single social media account that I have. That's just congruency. I want it to be simple, easy to find. You can see my YouTube's the same, Nicholas Barely. My Facebook's the same, Nicholas Barely. My TikTok's the same, Nicholas Barely. It's all consistent across the board. And then the picture is the same. That picture allows me to have this thing where like it pops in people's mind and go, oh yeah, like I'm familiar with that. That's that guy, Nicholas Barely, has that same picture. It looks congruent across the board. So if I were to change my profile picture on a different social media account, I wanna make sure that I have the same social media profile picture on each account. It just builds that consistency. Also credibility, you can see right here. The, what do you do? What are you a part of? What's something that can grab people's attention? So I have the things that are most important to me, like the CEO of the Billion Dollar Body, Billion Dollar Brotherhood, uh, top ranked podcast. So this is something that gets people to know, oh, he's a podcaster, not only a podcaster, a top ranked and rated one. And that's something you obviously wanna do. You don't just wanna put it in there. It's what are the things that you've either accomplished or what are you really, really good at? These are the things that kind of get people, what's that credibility piece that you could throw in there? Featured in Forbes Entrepreneurs, like, entrepreneur when it comes to the things that you've done what have you been featured in what have you done and again this can feel like kind of like a vanity a lot of times yet really it's like why should I listen to you what's the credibility what are the things that you've either done what are you about what do you do I want to know that right off the bat so if I find you or discover you somewhere I can look and be like oh they're San Diego's best carpet cleaning company they handle these different things and they've been featured here 
great. I guess I'll give them a follow because I'm looking for a carpet cleaning company. So figure out those best things for you. Also, one thing that I love to do inside of a bio first off, Also, one of those things I love to do inside of a bio, first off, is to give someone something for free that is relevant to what I'm even talking about inside of my content. So as you can see, I have my modern day businessman book, a bestseller for free. You guys can actually go grab that as well at nicholasbarely.com slash ebook. This is something that when people jump straight in, they're, they're viewing my profile, they're checking things out, or they're consistently seeing my posts and they're clicking my profile, this is a way to take them off of Instagram to go get something of value, yet also I'm getting their information and now can email them and reach out to them, et cetera, like you'll see will happen when you go grab this thing for free as well. So now let's actually get into some social media content. I'm gonna go into Instagram first. I'm gonna share with you a few things from Facebook and how we syndicate things from there and what that exactly means. So I don't just post one type of content. I don't just post funny videos like you could see right here, transformation photos of before and afters like you could see here, quotes like you could see right here. Again, more funny. You could see I rotate things over and over again and kind of see what's the purpose of each one of these. So in every social media post, you can write this down. You wanna have one call to action. Like what's the thing that you want this post to actually do? Do you want people to like it? Do you want people to comment and engage, which will allow your post to be shown to more people? Do you want people to buy something? Do you want people to go somewhere else, meaning go check out a blog or listen to a podcast? What is the one thing you want them to do? The last thing you wanna do is go, hey guys, you can follow me on Facebook, you can go check out this thing here, you can buy my hoodie here, you can go do this and book this appointment. You want to make it simple because if you give people too many options, they're just not going to do any of them. So if you sit there and go, hey, like, make sure to like this photo and make sure to drop a comment below. And if you want this, you can go do this. What you'll see is you will not get that many responses doing each one. Maybe three comments, maybe three likes, and, and maybe three people will click the site. Whereas if you just said, hey, if you want this, you could go to this site. Now all of a sudden you're going to have maybe 50 people compared to three because they only have one thing to do. Like, oh, like that's what I'm supposed to do. The call to action is this. And that's congruent all across the board. So every single thing that I do, whether it's a video or long form, I'm going to have one call to action of something that I want them to do, whether it's like it. So let's say this one, uh, how it started versus how it's going. This was a trend that was going on. You could check out trends on social. And inside of a trend, I made my own photo of something that was already working, right? Like one of the core things you could do on social media is do something that is already working. And actually you could see one of my friends right down here, Peng Jun, he's a master at this. You go check him out as well. well. Figure out what's working and model that for success. Cause if it's working for someone else, maybe I can make my own version of that. Notice I didn't just rip this off or not give credit. I legitimately made my own photo. And so inside of this, this was a short text, nothing too long. And it had a call to action, which was getting people to comment below. Do they think I should bring back the long hair? Because it was something that was interactive and funny. And you can see people interacted. It was funny. It was, it was hilarious. And it was something that got good engagement as well because of the transformation of where I was to where I am today. So inside of this, the reason I bring this up is because I want to have a blend of things that are funny, like this cat video that I just posted today, things that are transformational and have my face on it and show who I am so people get to me, get know me better, things that are simple for the platform that people like, which are things like quotes, they can read them right there, things that are funny like this one right here of this boat and saying this is what entrepreneurship is like, as well as me and my son showing my life and using these different pieces of content to not just chase the likes and the comments because you could get that through just posting butts and funny videos, but that doesn't mean they're gonna buy. I wanna warm them up, I wanna reach lots of people and that way that people are seeing my content and then when all of a sudden I post something about me and my wife, they still see it because they engage with other pieces of content but also on top of that, they're seeing more of who I am and what we do which may not get the same amount of engagement but that's okay as long as I'm rotating different types of content to see what works, one, and two, to hit people from different angles to engage them through commenting, engage them through them liking, engage them through it being funny, engage them through being educational, and then drop something that's maybe a call to action to grab one of my free books or to sign up for a program, et cetera. So that, that's a little bit on Instagram. Let's head over to, to Facebook real quick. So inside of the Billion Dollar Brotherhood Facebook group, I can actually go down into engagement. And inside of engagement, I can see posts that you could see right here. 
You could see the date they were posted, what the post was, and exactly who it reached and how many engagements it had. So this is inside of our private community that you guys can go check out. It's where I do the Q and A's. It's where, again, the guys that listen to the show, they go over there and they hang out. And inside of this, you can see this was actually someone else's super polarizing post. Whoever said money's the root of all evil clearly doesn't have any. And you can see a little something we blanked out there. Yet that was something that was engaging, it was polarizing. And you could see through all of these that there's all different types. These are just simple quotes. Let's get to know each other better. What business are you in? Simple, gets people to engage, gets them to comment, and it's just a short text. Secondly, you could see things like our show. Drop your questions below to get featured on the B2B podcast. That's a live video. I could see what things are working and test things, kind of like throwing things against the wall and seeing what sticks. And this allows me to go back and see what type of content's hitting, what type of content's not hitting, or maybe if it's not hitting, looking at why is that? Oh, it was a call to action post. So people were going and clicking to a site. They weren't just liking and commenting. So you want to have that wisdom to look at it as well. Yet when I look at this, one of the big things that I see here is I have different types of posts. So I have posts that are pictures that are like a hook. So I use pictures to hook people like this right here. This is a long form post, longer at least. And inside of this, you can see a picture of me and Gary Vaynerchuk. So this was from years ago, as you can see. This photo, when I'm doing social media on any platform, whether it be video or, or picture, I want to use the picture to capture people's attention. So people will always stop and scrolling and see, oh my gosh, like there's a picture of Gary Vee and Nicholas. Like, what is this? Because I see Gary Vee. So I used his clout to get people to stop. And it's a real photo and it's really for the story. And inside of this, it's like, oh man, this is Gary Vaynerchuk. Let me check this out. So that's a pattern interrupt. That's a hook. That's something that gets them to stop. As well as the very first sentence inside of my post. So inside of this post, I have, I spit in my hand, Gary Vee spit in his hand, and we shook. Super polarizing, COVID, whatever, crazy, right? So inside of this, I started telling a long form post, and I'll rotate posts like this, long form with a picture, short with a picture, one call to action, always. I'll do videos, I'll do funny videos, I'll do memes and pictures, which you'll probably see inside of here at some point. Um, this one's terrible. I can't believe I'm even sharing this, uh, but I guess it's up to your imagination. How often do you read? This was an engaging post. It was funny. Uh, I'll even put the laughing face on it right now. One of the greatest pleasures in life is reading a book. Again, it's funny. It's relevant to my audience. It gets people to engage, and that way we're just, one, keeping it light, interactive, comments, likes, and also on top of that, serious stuff that might not get as much engagement, and then going back and seeing what's working, what is not working as well. So a couple more tips to make you an expert on social media in general to monetize, grow your following is that there's really two reasons why people follow you. Number one is because they want to be like you. And a lot of people flex this right now. This is the cars, the house, etc. Yet the other side and a lot of the long form posts that I do is actually someone that's just like them. So this is relating and sharing your past failures, your struggles, the things that you've had to overcome to get to where you are and speaking back to where you were at to relate to these other people, to show them how you got from where you were to where you are now. And this is takes being vulnerable and sharing, hey, like I used to struggle with these things. It doesn't matter what industry you're in. And these are the solutions I found. So if you're struggling with this as well, like the, you can find these solutions. Rather than being like, look at me, I got the solution, I'm the best in the world. That's great, they can see that through your content, through your car or your clean carpet or whatever the heck it is, tax strategy. They'll see the results of what you do, but flexing also that you're just like them because you're just a human like everyone else is a huge way to be able to communicate with people on social media. One of the biggest things right now on social media if you wanna prosper is not talking to the people that will never buy from you. So often on social media, one of the biggest things that people reach out and say that the reason why they don't go out all in on social is because they don't want their family to see it, their family to judge them, people in their industry to judge them. And I remember I thought the same exact thing. I was in the health industry trying to help people lose weight and I was always so nervous of like saying something that maybe my family or friends would get super upset at or other people in my industry that were experts, they would look at me and be like, that's stupid. So I always would try to communicate. It felt like I was always communicating with my mom in mind, my family in mind, and with other experts in my community in mind, forgetting that that's not who I was serving. It's not who would ever buy from me. And so because of that, I was never attracting my ideal clients. 
And as soon as I started thinking about serving people that were way lower down in the education scale, because you weren't, you're not talking to people based on where you're at, you're talking to people based on where they're at. Let me say that again. You're not talking to where you're at, you're talking to people based on where they're at. When I started talking there, I had that scrutiny, the thought of what if this expert, this doctor starts making fun of me because I'm just saying that fat's not bad. I'm not talking about micronutrients, macronutrients, hormone levels, etc., and how this different boron does this. I wasn't talking about that anymore. I was talking, hey, fat's not bad. Here's why. I was so afraid that I was going to be judged by all these people that never buy from me. I realized, why am I even talking to the people and being worried and consumed by people that are I'm not there to serve and would never buy from me in the first place? I want to serve people where they're at, not just where I'm at, not just where the experts are at, because that's not who I'm serving in the first place, unless that's who you serve. So syndicating content, I talked about this a little bit earlier. What's the one piece of, like the one social media channel that you want to grow? What's the one type of ways that you like to communicate, video, long written, et cetera? And you want to focus on that first. Then from there, maybe writing it out allows you to be better on video. Or maybe you get good at video so that it's easier for someone else to write out a post. And what ends up happening is you could take one piece of content, one idea, one written post or one video and break it down into an email, break it down into a TikTok, break it down into a topic that you use for YouTube. You could take the the small clips from YouTube and you could throw it on your Insta stories. And so really what we started doing is we started making one great piece of content and taking it and breaking it down and formatting it for all the different platforms. So I'm not like, I gotta make a TikTok, I gotta do the LinkedIn post, I gotta do a Facebook post, I gotta do a Facebook group post, I gotta do all these things. I take one great piece of content and I break it down and I syndicate it to each platform and it all is congruent, it works well, and it's super time efficient. So you don't have to be on every social media platform every single day. One tip for me is don't overthink this. One of, the, one of the biggest things is just getting started. And I love what Gary Vee says to wrap up this video is that someone asked Gary Vee, should I start really niche only talk about one thing on social media or should I go broad? I remember Gary's answer was go really, really broad, as broad as possible. And what happens is when you talk about something that no one cares about, they just skip over it. And when you talk about something they do care about, they really engage with it. So he talks about like flipping things on Craigslist and building a thousand person employee company. And he talks about the Jets and football. He talks about all these different things and each one of those actually attracts an audience. So what that means is the more that you share who you are, more of your interests, you're gonna attract people to those same interests. And the people that don't have the interest, they'll just skip. Yet it allows you to continue building your tribe and the different people that know, like, and trust you. And when you come out with different offerings and things that you do inside your business, some of them might need that. It allows you to actually build a bigger tribe based on, again, your interests, not just random topics, but different things about you that you could showcase that other people will relate to because they realize, again, that you are just like them. Thank you so much for listening to this video and watching it. If you got value from this, tell me one takeaway that you had down in the comments. I'd love to know what's one thing you're gonna implement leaving this video. Again, if you just found me and you did not subscribe yet, you're gonna wanna do that to get more content like this, as well as hit that little tiny bell that gives you notifications so you know when we drop a new video. Thank you guys so much. Again, we come out with three episodes every single week from interviews to Q&A, as well as Uh, trainings that are just like this and I'm excited for the next one we have some really great ones coming down the pipeline I'm excited to hang out more with you and make sure to head over to the billion dollar brotherhood Facebook group so that we can connect more and I will see you on the next episode